here we are January 31st and it's uh, in the 40s. I mean, should that, should that be? <laughs> I don't know, in Lake Placid, New York. Nationwide, the ski industry generates $12.2 billion annually. One billion of that is right here in New York, which is home to 51 ski resorts, as well as the jobs and businesses that thrive because of New York winters. Christmas in Clifton Park was a balmy 60 degrees. I have been skiing since about I could walk. We're in Kins Road Park right now, which is pretty much my main winter training spot for my high school team. This year's been pretty terrible. As you can see, there's no snow anywhere, and it's pretty much just been all running and roller skiing, and we haven't been able to ski here one time. We get snowstorms are bigger. Uh, when we have droughts are longer, uh, heat waves are longer, rainstorms are bigger. Everything seems to be extreme. The ski industry drives local economies. According to records which date back more than 130 years, 10 of the warmest years ever have occurred since 1998. Here in New York, winter temperatures have increased by more than one and a half degrees since 1950. It's placing people's livelihoods at risk. You know, warmer temps and bright sun and all these different uh, environmental factors make things less consistent and more challenging for coaches and athletes. You know, they get frustrated when they don't have good skis, so we have to work a little bit harder. With a record warm November and December, our production is not where we were last year. We've produced about 75% of the snow we produced at this time last year. I've been Nordic skiing since I was three. My favorite thing about winter is probably skiing and spending time with my family and friends outside. The pro probably creeping up around 40. Uh, it's bright sun and for the end of January, it's uh, feels a little bit more like the end of March. I mean, here it is, like, we lose our winners, we're losing all these Nordic athletes, which is part of our heritage. I mean, it's part of the goods, man. I just, I think the biggest thing about climate change is just education, and just educating everyone on how big of a problem it actually is, and how many people it affects.